Hey everybody, it's Greg Flyshaker, Greg Fly to my friends, and here's a short video of me making twisty cane. I may have made another one already about just pulling straight cane, which you need to have done, I needed to have done in order to get to this step. Um, so I'm preparing a drill bit so I can do the twisting by myself. And I need to get clear glass on my punty, my pipe. It's not really a pipe, it's not a hollow, so it's a punty. And I'm just trying to get the, the right amount of clear glass for the twisty cane I'm making. And there are all sorts of varieties, so you need to know what you're doing ahead of time and have cane already heated up to apply to the outside or whichever layer of this clear glass that we're making here. So I'm going to have blue twist inside of white twist. So I got clear glass and here. I'm just going to pick up two relatively large and thick pieces of blue, blue cane just on opposite sides of that clear glass. You can kind of see it there. I try to slow it down. And then there's a whole lot of heating and melting in that goes on here. I won't make you watch all of it, but basically it's heat, smooth out, heat, melt in. I'm going to tie in the ends here. You can see those two pieces of cane sort of flopping around out there. So I have a smooth piece there. After it's all melted in, I get one more gather of glass. I'm going to shape it up a little bit so I don't have hot spots or bumps. And then I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of white cane or a fair number of white cane around the outside spaced evenly. So shaping it up for this cane pickup. And again, you saw me pick up the blue, the white canes in the same little oven back there already heated up to 920, 925 degrees. And then you can see the blue there. It looks orange. And I'm rolling across the white cane that I had to make in a previous session. And then again, it's the same, same game here. You're going to heat them in. And uh, it has to be real smooth. You don't want... Well, I'm trying to even it up there. So there's a little extra gap between those two. I'm just squeezing them together a little bit. You don't want creases showing up in your glass. So take some time and smooth it out, heat it in. It'll all melt into one nice smooth piece. Same idea here. I'm tying in all the loose tips, cutting it off. And now I have a smooth sort of a, a pointy bullet shape, I guess. Again, I won't make you watch all of it. Now it turns into a heating game, trying to get your heat in the right place, take it out of the wrong place. So you saw me tip it, tap it there in the end. I don't want too much heat there at the very end. I move the camera to get come all the way down to where I'm going to pull the glass. And this is not the world's best pull, I'll tell you right now. Um, I got the, the end towards me a little too hot and it'll get a little thin. Not disastrous, just not ideal, but you'll see it when I start pulling. It's not quite as evenly. And there I start twisting with the drill bit that I had to keep hot. And then once you get a little stretch here, then you really start going. You can see how that end closest to my, I guess, my left arm. I don't know why I'm holding it that way. I usually have my hand the other way. But now it's a matter of while the heat's on the glass, twist, 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 back up, twist and back, twist and back. And this took me about 20, 25 minutes to do. I condensed it down to a four minute video. And there you go. Blue twist with white twist around it. Twisty cane. Now you can use that to make cups and vases and bowls, whatever it is you want to make.